In the last session, we introduced you to Hypertext Markup Language or HTML. HTML is structure of tags which are used to display text in specific style. Let's look into it in more detail. Paragraph Tag As the name suggests, if the HTML page contains multiple paragraphs, this tag helps in defining the paragraph's body. It is a type of container tag and, it is a way to structure your text into different paragraphs. Each paragraph of text should go in between an opening and a closing tag. Open a notepad and copy the code from description and save it as HTML file. Open saved HTML file by double click. Notice text with and without paragraph. Line break tag is used to whenever you use the BR element or break rule, anything following it starts from the next line. This tag is an example of an empty element, where you do not need opening and closing tags, as there is nothing to go in between them. Open a notepad and copy the code from description and save it as HTML file. Open saved HTML file by double click. Notice text with and without link break. Some tags can define the properties of the text to be displayed more specifically with the property known as attributes. Attributes are defined in the starting tag angular bracket itself. We can give different values to these attributes to display the text more to our requirement. For example, starting and ending body tag pair defines the text to be displayed but it can also specify the background to be shown behind the text, color of the text and background color. Syntax of body tag can be body background equals background .jpg. Attributes are optional properties and are not necessary most of the time but are required for some tags. Let's consider some attributes of body tag with an example. Background, specify a background image for an HTML document. Open a notepad and copy the code from description and save it as HTML file. Open saved HTML file by double click. Notice background image. Color, specify a background color for an HTML document. Open a notepad and copy the code from description and save it as HTML file. Open saved HTML file by double click. Notice background color. Text color, specify the color of text in an HTML document. Open a notepad and copy the code from description and save it as HTML file. Open saved HTML file by double click. Notice text color. Some of the attributes can be used together also for example. Open a notepad and copy the code from description and save it as HTML file. Open saved HTML file by double click. Notice both background color and text color have changed. Now let's consider some other tags. Heading tags, as in books we have headings which are bold and bigger in size. In HTML, also we can define different heading sizes based on their importance. The H1 to H6 tags are used to define HTML headings. H1 defines the most important heading. H6 defines the least important heading. Open a notepad and copy the code from description and save it as HTML file. Open saved HTML file by double click. Notice different sizes of heading tags. Font tag, specify the font size font face and color of text. Open a notepad and copy the code from description and save it as HTML file. Open saved HTML file by double click. Notice different font colors, sizes and faces. Bold tag, make the sentences bold. Italic tag, make the sentences italic. Underline tag, underline the sentences. Open a notepad and copy the code from description and save it as HTML file. Open saved HTML file by double click. Notice bold italic and underline sentences. Well done. You have covered some basic tags. To find out more on tags and attributes visit Westschool's link is in the description. Which topic you want us to cover next? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Like and subscribe for more videos.